Welcome to Dust Off the Bricks. This is part three and the final part of my Lego Castle mock. It's taken over two months to complete because I've been waiting on pieces from Lego. And it weighs about 50 pounds. But please help support my channel by smashing that subscribe and like button. So let's get started with this little uh, portion right here. All right, so over here we have the bar and the hotel with three horses outside. We've got some dead uh, flowers over here. We've got a table and chair outside and some greenery over there and a little fence to tie up your horses. The rooftop, I was trying to do, I wanted to do something different, but this is pretty much what I came up with um, because I'm still waiting on pieces from Lego. So up top here, we have, oh, there goes that. We have just a little, uh, three little bunk beds and some crates for the visitors to put their belongings in. So move this top floor here. And down below is the bar. There's peace in the realm. So we have a orc and a little fairy type person and a mountain person all enjoying drinks together. Those are their horses outside. We've got a little flag here that I found that I thought would look good there. And this, uh, this isn't supposed to be here. This is a crack. It's because this one's higher than this one because my table is a V. So just kind of ignore that. So right here, it kind of creases down, so. I uh, did order a new table, so that should not be a problem again. And then we've got the pathway to the castle with some studs there, so to blend in the pathway. Here we have the blacksmith shop, the set, and a pretty cool set, actually. Um, I did a review on it, so I can link that in the description below. But we got a bunch of flowers out here. Um... And this, the, this came with the set, so they're just, they're picking up supplies to bring to the castle. All their swords and stuff that they need. Um, yeah, the, the story here is the blacksmith daughter there. Oh, the whole tree just fell over. The blacksmith daughter here is, um, likes flowers, so she's picked flowers from the hill over here. And uh, planted them in the front of their blacksmith shop. So over here, by the farm, we have obviously all the stuff I had previously. We have a well added right there. We also have carrots. I wanted to use the orange uh, studs there with holes in them, but uh, I guess they don't make them, or at least they don't sell them on Lego, pick a brick. And then we just added a bunch more shrubs and stuff and flowers and wildlife. We've got bird on the apple tree there. Then we've got one of the farmers bringing supplies up to his, uh, up to the castle to sell, to make some money. And then over here we've got some water for the animals. We have this pathway that goes all the way through the farm. We've got all their tools they need. Uh, uh, we have a little lamb over there that's escaped, so the farmer needs to find, get that one back. But just added a bunch more um, trees and shrubs and stuff just to make that hillside look a little bit better. Here we have where the farmers stay. Uh, before this was just pretty much a brick wall. Wow, this is all falling apart today. Um, so just added vent pieces for the roof. I think it looks nice. Made it still look like a little cheap tin roof. Up here we have a bunch of, uh, just where the farmers can keep storage and whatever, just random stuff that they want to keep up there. And that just goes around like this. And then on, and here is just a bed and a fire. Just kind of want to make it simple. Like they don't have very much, they're poor farmers. So let's put that back on. Yeah, so that's the farming portion. Oh, I added a bunch of dead, um, dead flowers and just stuff up leading up to the path. Then we have the castle where we have two knights guarding the front door. 
big old axes. And then just add a bunch of minifigures. Most of these are uh, Viking torsos and heads. And then I just have a few knights here. I have some special knights in the back that I just recently found at a garage sale, surprisingly. Some modified CMFs, an actual CMF up there. And then just, uh, yeah, just whatever I had in my inventory <laughs> looked like a knight. Obviously need more. I have a shipment for if I ever build a castle again or when I build the castle again. I'll have plenty of knights to stock this uh, castle with. Definitely since I want to try to make it twice as big. So, and, and oh, I finally finished the towel and work up here. So it's not just plain studs. I added some flags, just a lot of detail inside. I have um, where Baker uh, is selling some stuff and then where the farmers are selling some stuff. Around the outside... I added tile for the water, except for we ran out. I ordered 350 of these tiles, plus what I had in my inventory, which is probably about 100. So I have 450 tiles and uh, didn't make it very far around, if you can see back there where it stops. So uh, I will be ordering more of those for the next time I need those tiles. I feel like majority of the mocks, if I add water, I want those and I never have enough. I also added cheese, uh, ordered some cheese slopes, so the next time I might be able to add some waves in there. But yeah, there's uh oh these minifigs right back here. So these four minifigures I found in a pack. I know they're supposed to be bad guys, but I figured I'll just throw them in here. So uh those are those were in a little set of four with a little mini build. And uh just decided to break it open and put them in the castle mock. So there's some more flags up here that I added. So, but uh, then inside here is where I've done a lot more work. So here's the throne or the treasure room. Uh, just put a little gates up so no one can steal the gold and tiled the floor. The next floor is the throne room with the king and his two guards. And then tiled the floor with uh, dark red and light or a bright red. Here is the dining hall with a little table, tile the floor, and this is made with jumpers. So, and then just one by one plates and ended up looking pretty good. And then here is the armory, which was pretty much done already. All I added was tile. So let's throw this back on. But, like I said, this, uh, 50 pounds of Lego in this thing. Ordered about more than a thousand pieces to help complete it. And, uh, it's three base plates by five base plates. So, by far my largest mock, by far my heaviest mock. And, I mean, I've only been building mocks for... Less than a year now, so this is just, uh, I learn more and more each time, so uh, hit this, oh, I also had a skeleton down here, so he uh, fell down the alligator trap door here, and he didn't make it out, but yeah, just definitely by far my biggest mock, so, and uh, this is my final video, so I have learned a lot for the future. There's lots of plans I plan on doing if I when I build a castle next. So I plan on building a castle again next summer. So hopefully it goes by faster because I won't have to wait for parts from a Lego because I'll have all the pieces. I also took apart about 50 sets to just to find pieces to help build this. So... Uh, yeah, definitely hit that sub uh, subscribe button to help support this channel. So this will now be taken apart to help build other mocks, which I have quite a few planned so far, so stay tuned for those. But thank you for watching. See you next time.